Hey everyone, it's Tony from the Branded Man Garage. Today I've been stripping wires, I've been looming uh, this 3800 harness. I cut all the wires at nice lengths. Uh, I'm going through the, um, through the pinouts. There's so many wires, I just can't remember all the colors. I know all the sensors. I don't remember the colors and which pins they go to, so that's why I have my, uh, my wiring diagram um, uh, spreadsheets. Um, and I'm just going to kind of show you guys around this 3800 and show you what goes into a wiring harness. I know James Brown ha and, and, uh, and the other uh, guy in Canada that does these harnesses uh, has a jig or whatever. Um, I do one-offs on every one. Uh, these are custom wiring harnesses that I make. Uh, and this is actually the loom I decided to go with. It's just red and black like a uh, mesh. It's really cool looking. So that's the new thing that, um, and I could actually do this over, that, that mesh would actually go over the fuel rails, but the fuel rails are really nice black. Um, I can't do it here. The problem is you can't with the split wire. I can't really do that um, on that side. And then this one is too big. It has too many wires coming in and out. So I really can't use that really nice uh, mesh. So I'm just gonna loom it. And then after I loom it, I'm gonna wrap it with the heat tape. So the heat tape that I have up there, I'm gonna wrap the wiring harness where the exhaust goes. And then the, 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 the wiring harness is gonna come up. So it'll come up so it's not going under the exhaust. And how I learned this is my 3800 automatic. Uh, the way me and Tim did it uh, back in 2001 is we uh, actually ran the wires down. Well, there's headers there and they get really hot. So what I'm gonna do is actually run the wires up. Nothing except there's gonna have to be the starter wire and a few other wires are gonna go under there, but they're not gonna be the way in, in that junction. That junction right there gets really hot. So I'm gonna to try to actually move the wiring harness up and out of the way. Uh, and then I'll finish it up. There's another little little touch I did. So um, it's this is really, this is easy. Physically, this is an easy job. Mentally, this is a really hard job because you gotta know which pins, you gotta know uh, the size of the wires, you gotta know where to cut them. You, and I'm soldering them in. I'm soldering every wire in. So. Um, I hate, I wish I had full length. The problem is doing a full length is just, it's not, it's just not feasible anymore. I just can't do full length wires. Um, it would just take too long. Like literally, I think it took me and Tim like a month to do the wire harness on my 3,800, uh, uh stripe car. I, I just don't want to spend a month doing the wiring harness. So, uh, this is probably going to take me today and, uh, probably tomorrow.